Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. This is uh, you know, just a video for Mr. Nabil Al-Khalidi, Aka uh, learning Quranic Arabic. Uh, the one I made a video for him and we showed you that this guy, he have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, anyway, uh, in this video here you will see in the text, this is in, in Facebook, I posted for him asking him for a life challenge and life debate and uh, you can read the text you know by yourself and see what we are talking about there uh, however until now this uh, gentleman mr nabil he did not respond i don't know why i mean this guy he claimed he's a teacher and he want to refute this guy and that guy i mean what about we do with life and there's no topic any topic you know i wanted to prove me liar you see i mean i wanted to surprise me the muslims always they choose topic by the way it's just to make it like 15 minutes, 15 minutes, by the time you finish your speech, everybody is asleep and you know, nobody can cut lying anyone because there is no, inter, 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 like a, you have my time, I have your time, so it, there's no debate, you know, it's just a stupid debate. I don't do it this way and we would not do it this way. You know, last year we gave a, we gave a kid, he's from Somalia, uh, the chance to, to debate me. He went and he printed 1,000 questions from the internet and when we start asking him the question, he didn't want to answer. You know, so this is what my time and your time mean, you know, it's like my, it's my, my time. Okay, I will ask you now, but he never answered anything. So they are kids claiming knowledge and they have nothing to do with the, the, the claim they claim. Uh, and this gentleman here, we offer him a live debate until now he did not answer. But before here we finish, as long, you know, I hope he would answer. And I, 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 uh, uh, I hope the Muslims will contact him and says why, you know, it's going to be interesting for the Christians and for the Muslims to see a live debate between him, especially he is a, is, a, is a professional Arabic teacher and he claimed that he have knowledge of the Quran. And, you know, we have to say that in order to, to learn Arabic in Islamic countries, they teach you the Quran. This is true. Uh, so he is his specialty. The Quran is his specialty as part of the Arabic language, and it's going to be very interesting to see him uh, with his knowledge in the Arabic, which I find it very funny, because he helped me a lot to destroy Islam in his videos. Uh, because Muslims they lie about Arabic words meaning, so I use his videos to get them busted, which is very I'm very thankful for him for that. Uh, so now look what he said here just to show you the short intelligence of the Muslims I'm not trying to insult Mr. Nabil here but it's, it's a fact I am the person responsible for doing the video uh, he is refuting two things I wanted to say you assumption that the Bible is true in the first logic I mean logic mistake this is a, let, let me tell you let me tell you Nabil aren't you the one who is doing what you're accusing me of you are assuming that the Quran is correct we are talking about uh, you know names I mean why why the Christians or the Jews they will change the name I mean they knew they knew that there's a prophet will come a thousand or two thousand years after and he will uh, he will he will get the name correctly so we have to change it and make it wrong I mean come on you know you, what you are doing is the same as the American news media about the Russian uh, uh, affecting the, the election anything happened in America they accuse Russia today and now you Muslims are the same. Anything happened, you accuse the Jews. I mean, the Jews they will change the name of the father of uh, of Mary. Why? They will change the you know like uh, Harun, the, the 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 sister of Mary. I mean, what 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 is that? Even the name of the father of Abraham, your religion got it wrong. Who? There is no Azar. Azar is a word in in, in the Assyrian in, in the Syrian language or Aramaic language, which means foolish, stupid. So Abraham he says to his father, foolish. But if we ask you what Azar mean, you will say it's the name of the father of uh, Abraham, which is very naive of you. So you are the one who's assuming that a book written hundreds, if not thousands of years after the old book is the correct one. And there is no connection between them. I mean, where, where, where Muhammad he got the reference from? You are talking about logic and mistake of assume, like assuming that the, the first book is correct. Where is your logic? I mean, where is the reference for you that this is the name is wrong? Secondly, you need to verify the Bible. My friend, you speak Arabic, don't you? I mean, you, or if you are a Pharisee coming from Iran, I would say this guy, he he's 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 a, a Sadiq, you know, Sadiq. How are you doing, Sadiq? Or he is Zakir Naik who speak funny English or Arabic, uh, brother. 
Brother, isn't it your prophet in the Quran says, which means Allah, Aka Muhammad, said, Musaddiqam ma bayna yadayhi? And I can show you a video of yours explain what ma bayna means. Bayna, it's between his hands. So musaddiqan, what does that mean? Believing, believe, believing in what is between his hands. So the Bible is between the hand of Muhammad and he believe in it. He believe in the, in the, in the corrupt Bible. So you are the one is verifying it already. Secondly, how you can verify it? Do you verify it for me? Do you have an original copy, you know, different from the copy we have? I mean, isn't it stupid for you to say to me, you accepted Muhammad 600 years after Jesus, but you did not ask him to verify what he said. You accepted Muhammad, who came a thousand of years after, after, after Musa, but you did not accept, you know, ask him, verify to me what you said. This is how hypocrite the Muslims are. Can you verify what he said? Was Muhammad there when Jesus was crucified? Huh? Was Muhammad, do Muhammad even speak Hebrew? And who is Isa? Can you verify the name of Isa? I mean, <laughs> a Muslim is asking us to verify, but he have nothing. It's just a guy came 600 years and they claim that he don't speak, that he don't read or write, which and he's an Arabic teacher. What about you give your prophet two weeks to teach him Arabic? A prophet who do not know how to read, how to write, how this happened? Is that why the Quran is stupid? However, I don't believe that he don't know how to write, how to read. I believe that the Muslims are the ones who do not know how to write, how to read. However, my friend, I challenge you to have a live debate with me, including this topic, no problem, any topic if you wish. You can, you can make every question, every new question a topic. There's no need for topics. Surprise me. You see, I'm giving you the advance of surprising. Surprise me. Why you are not answering for my challenge? What a shame. Now, there's other guy, somebody told me, why don't debate him? His name is Ali Dawa. This guy is a kid. You see, Nabil is a professional. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, uh, I believe that what, what Nabil have in his pocket is like, uh, is the library of, uh, of, uh, of this guy. You call him Ali Dawa. This, this guy is a joke. He's a kid. He don't even know how to read Arabic correctly. Uh, uh, however, I never said, no, bring him to debate me. I mean, did, have you ever seen me? No, we have a live show. When I am back in the state, we will start again. And anyone is welcome to call me. Don't tell me debate him. Where am I going to debate him? Where? The Muslim who says to me, why you don't debate him? I mean, are you stupid or what? You, you call your, your friend, ask him to debate me, challenge me. Who want to challenge me? Very easy. Very easy. It's a Skype and we do live broadcast in YouTube. Have fun. Let everybody laugh, either at you or at me, either at your prophet or at my belief. We are waiting for the Muslims to accept the challenge. So I want to say thank you for Mr. Nabil. I hope he will answer me very soon. And I hope we will have a nice debate, which is going to be the benefit for the Muslims and the Christians. And everybody would like to learn about uh, the cult of Islam and the false prophet, which is called uh, Muhammad Aka Qatham Aka Allah. I am waiting. And I hope we will receive an acceptance for such a debate. Thank you very much and God bless you.